Hi, I'm James, and in this video I'm taking a look at installing the RTM release of Windows 10 onto a laptop. Uh, in this instance I've already created my USB stick, but if you click the video in the top right here in the annotation, we also have a guide for how to go through and do that to prepare from an ISO image and get ready to install Windows onto a system. When I say RTM, this is actually built 10240, so what is presumed to be the RTM build. Microsoft haven't put out ISOs with this um, publicly, but some people have taken the previous ISOs and used these to create an installer for it. But following on from July 29th onwards, hopefully ISO should be available for doing installs. As it is, you can find this now, but obviously activating and having product keys will be a different issue so for the minute we're going to skip the product key input there are keys available online but for now I'm going to avoid using them and I'm not going to give information on them in the video if you have access to Google then I'm sure you can find them and um, these early stages the references to pre-release software have gone um, and we're just going through and because we're doing this as a clean install we're just clearing off the partitions so this means that any data on the drive will be erased. Um, obviously if you have multiple drives, only erase the one you want to install it to, or if you want to install it alongside an existing Windows install, you don't necessarily want to clear that off. Now we're on to the installation phase, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to speed this up just to uh, skip through having to wait for it. There's no user input required at this stage. So now with the copying and extraction of files complete, uh, we are just about at the end of the first stage of the Windows install. The system now should reboot and we will see it comes up and it will do a first boot where it sets up sort of hardware devices with drivers which are available to it and then it will reboot and bring us into the out of box experience. So here we have the machines doing its first restart, we're just on the UEFI BIOS screen. What you see here will vary depending a little bit on your laptop or desktop and whether you are using a traditional BIOS or UEFI system. So in this case because it's UEFI it gives us the logo for the system along with the spinning logo beneath it to let us know that things are happening. And this should, in a moment, do a restart and then boot again and bring us into the out-of-box experience, which is where you can do your initial setup of the system and um, your user setup and so on. Um, what I'm going to do now as well is I'm going to keep this video separate from covering the um, out-of-box experience. So if you would like to continue to see the out-of-box experience and look at the options available in that, then by all means please click through to view that video uh, in the annotation that I again will put in the top right corner um, and if not then you know be sure to hit subscribe if you want to see what else we do and stay in touch with the channel and with that we should now in a few seconds time be booting into that outer box experience and be ready to continue There we can just see the capture card has lost input, so the machine is rebooting again. And then in a few seconds time we should be in.